Okay, so we're looking, <coughs> sorry, we're looking for the ratio of the um, pink area to the area of the whole circle, I think. Yep. Alright, so um, how are we going to, how are we going to determine that now? Well, um, since we now know, we can get all the x's in terms of y and then um, either use this ratio from before, or just we can just calculate it again. All right. What would you? Which one of those approaches would you prefer? Um, let's just calculate the ratio again. Okay. So. All right. So you know, x is three y. X is three y. So then our radius of our large circle, which was x plus two y, now becomes five y. Uh huh. And so, so our total area would be twenty five y squared. Okay. And then, since our large shaded circle has radius x, it has area um, 9y squared. And then we, each, we add 1y squared for each small circle, so we get a total of 12y squared. Alright. And so our radius is, or ratio is 12 over 25. Yeah, very good. So what do you think of this problem? Um, it was a little difficult at first, but it sort of worked out at the end, I guess. It was a little different than some of the other problems I've done. Um, some of them sort of use, they, a lot of them use right triangles like this, but I don't think I've had one where you have to like factor a quadratic before. Um, probably not, actually. Um, but yeah, factoring a quadratic, that, see, that was, a, that was actually a really good idea to see, like, hey, we have a quadratic, I don't, I don't know too much about what we can do with quadratics, but maybe we could factor it. Right. And um, it turned out it factored. Uh, this is an interesting diagram, too, because uh, here we have a right triangle and the sides are in arithmetic progression. So can you think of any right triangles whose sides are in arithmetic progression? Three, four, five. Like a three, four, five. Any other ones? Um, six, eight. I think the three, four, five ratio is the only ratio that has that. Yeah, it might be actually. It might it might be. In fact, our our equation probably says that's the only one. Um, although I guess if x equals minus y, then you would have a one zero minus one. That doesn't really make sense. No. But yeah, cool. So this is good work, huh? This is this is really a really nice job. You had all the right ideas. And then it was just a question of working through the algebra, so yeah. great, great work.